It is summertime in the South African Lowfeld. The early summer rains have greened the grasses, the shrubs and the trees. Water and food is plentiful. The impala, a ubiquitous antelope in the Lowveld, is able to regulate its gestation period, so that lambs are born in times of plenty. With thousands of lambs about, it is a great time for young predators to hone their hunting skills. These adult lionesses are members of a large pride, comprising of several adult females and even more sub-adults, both male and female. These sub-adults need to learn how to organize and execute a hunt. They currently have a superb black mane dominant male tagging along with the pride. He has a slight injury and he needs the ladies to provide food for him. It all starts with observation and planning. The leading females have noticed a herd of impala upwind from them. They can hear the lambs bleating and they can smell the rich scent of dinner. The impala are oblivious to their presence. Being upwind of the lions, they cannot smell or hear the silent predators. A plan of action is being formulated. How this plan is communicated to the other members of the pride is still a profound mystery. One adult lioness is dispatched far down to the right from where she will loop around the herd of impala, staying upwind and crosswind from them for the longest possible time. The other adults and some of the sub-adults slowly, carefully and silently move into their allotted places to form a cordon of death ambush for the impala who will most certainly flee in their direction when they become aware of the lioness who has stalked around them to their upwind side. Whilst getting into their positions, they keep their profiles low to avoid being seen. One of the immature males is assigned to cover the left flank. An immature female is tasked with positioning herself on the right flank. The senior lionesses will spread themselves across the center of the cordon. Notice how the grass stalks are blowing towards the stalking lioness, a clear indication that she is downwind of her prey. She can smell them, but they cannot smell her. They place their feet carefully, so as not to make a sound, by cracking a twig. They observe, and keep vegetation and deadwood cover, between themselves and the prey. They minimize their outlines and silhouettes by peering through bushes and fallen branches. Like most predators, including humans, they have eyes in the front of their heads, giving them binocular vision of single objects, such as a prey animal. This greatly enhances the perception of distance. It also gives them another great advantage. X-ray vision. This X-ray vision is not literally meant, but one can see for yourself, by holding slightly spread fingers in front of one's face, that one can see very well through them. While, to someone else, some distance away, one's face would be obscured. Eyes in the front of your head thus make it possible to see through objects such as bushes and branches. A sort of, X-ray vision. The antelope, on the other hand, have eyes on the sides of their heads. This greatly increases their visual field, covering almost 300 degrees. This is complemented by a very mobile and flexible neck, making a 360 degree surround vision scan, quick and simple. While the hunters wait, each in a pre-planned position, the outlying lioness has nearly completed her long, stalking, pincer movement.
The tension is palpable. One mistake, and the quarry will be alerted. All the planning will be in vain. The sub-adult male on the left wing loses patience and pulls the trigger moments too early. With snorts of alarm, the Impala flee to the left, thus avoiding the carefully set trap. All tension now dissipated, the pride wanders into the open. They are joined by the black maned male. Everyone meets and greets affably, not an angry word is spoken. This has been just another experience. Another opportunity to learn. They are all still hungry, but they need to get over the loss and support each other in the next hunt. On average, lions hunting as a group have a 25% success rate in daylight, increasing to 30% when hunting at night. Individual lions hunting have success in 17 to 19% of their hunts. That was a Papa Doom film.